Hi, welcome back. This time I'm going to be covering air in the water. In other words, you're using your hose or whatever outlet and there's chick, 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 air coming through in it. Now, you must remember air can expand to a massive amount under vacuum. So you could cause your pump to become very inefficient. So f first few things I'd say is this is one of the biggest problems is air being sucked in on your inlet. So somewhere along the pipe, you, you've got a leak there. I always say to people, you put a few joints, elbows, all that sort of stuff, screw fittings, whatever, you put as few of those as possible. If you can get away with one over here and then one at the end where your valve or your filter head's gonna go on, do that. The more elbows, fittings, anything that you're going to have the attachments, priming, some people put a priming thing over here, the more of that sort of stuff you got, the more air you're going to get sucking in. So once you've got that, if you're still finding you're getting air coming out through everything, you want to check a few other things. This priming plug over here, I always say to people, don't ever use that. If you want to prime the pump, take the head off and prime it through there. Make sure you keep that uh, bolt well greased inside that hole to uh, stop that rusting out from being used so many times if you're priming often. You could add something over here and that you're pouring water in. Just like putting water in, yeah, it doesn't seem to prime as efficiently because for some reason having this head off and pouring water in there just primes it so much quicker and so much easier. But that's up to you how you prime. But these things, the tiniest leak there is going to cause either you're not going to be able to pump or you're going to have issues with uh, air getting in there. So tighten that, put, put a bit of, uh, I, I use stag on it, just depends what you want to use, but just get some sealing, sealing tape on there, plumber's tape and some sealant, close that up nice and tight uh, and don't touch it in future pretty much. Some people will put a funnel system on here with a ball valve. Uh, yes and no, it sort of works. Um, but make sure it can seal that there's absolutely no air coming in there at all. So another thing that could cause uh, air to be sucked into the pump is it's coming from the gland. If the gland is loose, you're sucking from a high head or your filter at the bottom starting to get, get uh, blocked, you'll find that you create a much higher suction in the pump. The pump's going to make a different sound. Instead of it being the usual tack attack 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 it's going to make, it'll be like a woo, woo. Like I, I say, a gnu sound, G-N-U. Goo, 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 goo. And that means that it's sucking really hard, but it's, it's unable to supply enough water to itself. Now, when that's happening, air can often be sucked in through the gland, which in essence means the glands running backwards and if you take the head off while it's running you'll notice that you're getting air coming out on this glare I mean on, on this valve but not on this one that says straight away you just got to tighten that gland up a bit but also say check your suction make sure that's not blocked or if you've got too high a head I don't like to go past sort of five heads five meters head on these uh, if you if you got more than that, maybe try and lower the pump if you can. So uh, and tightening that, of course, does help a little bit. You want it to be dripping while the pump's running, like drip, 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 perfect. But if it's squirting out or if it's not doing anything at all, well, either that you've just redone the gland and it's not going to leak for a while because brand new shaft and everything. But it does want the water in there because it actually lubricates the gland itself. So, uh, another spot, I've seen it on the odd occasion, if on a high head it might suck a little bit of air in through here. Doesn't seem to do it from the bottom ones, but uh, it can pull some in from this side too. So, check your gasket on that side.